And the extreme cold is causing major power outages this morning in the west and south suburbs. This outage map shows more than 9,000 customers are still without power. At the height of the outage, it was up to 20,000. CBS 2's V Wynn is out tracking the outages in the mobile weather lab. She's in Oaklawn with the latest. Hi, V. Yeah, hey there, Marissa and Aaron. ComEd crews have been working around the clock to restore power to so many customers in this area. They left not too long ago. We know the power is back on for some customers, but others are still waiting. Some people living in this Oaklawn neighborhood near 91st and Central have been without power since 4 a.m. The village trustee says it's been a dangerous morning. We've been going door to door to uh, homes just to make sure people are okay. We have the police and fire department out there. We've got warming centers uh, that are opened up, uh, Village Hall and uh, over at our pavilion. Um, so right now, I, a lot of seniors are and residents are deciding, you know, how they're going to handle if it's going to continue. He too is without power. The temperature in his home, 45 degrees. In my time of being a trustee, not in the winter time like this, uh, we've had power outages in this area, and after we get this all cleared, uh, we're going to have a serious conversation with ComEd because something like this should not happen. I'm very concerned about the infrastructure, and we've had issues before. ComEd's done some work to get a. Uh, more reliable, but this is unacceptable. ComEd crews had to brave the elements overnight, working in dangerously cold temperatures and high winds to get power back on to thousands of customers. It's awfully doggone cold out here, but uh, we're managing to do the best that we can at this time. This crew was called out to an outage just south of downtown. At some point, you can see them in the bucket fixing the power lines from up above, the wind just hitting them from all directions. The wind is pretty hectic right now. It's awfully cold. Comment says they are doubling up on crews, sending extra manpower so they can switch out and take breaks in the extreme cold. Crews are bundled up, but it hasn't been easy. Some wearing up to eight layers of clothing to stay warm. Nobody can, can prepare for this really too much, so uh, I guess if we got a little Antarctica or North Pole here, we got it. I never, I always wanted to visit, but I don't think I do. Now, it could take at least four more hours before power is fully restored. Oaklawn officials are urging residents to please check on your neighbors and to please call 911 if you need help. Reporting live from the Mobile Weather Lab, V1 CBS 2 News. Marissa and Aaron, back to you. All right, V, thank you.